we are now going to the weekly marketplace of one of the central Anatolian towns and we are going to see what kind of business activities the local people are doing in that marketplace. Colors are just incredible, aren't they? It's good though. She wants to give you the dog as a gift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ask her why she doesn't like that dog. <laughs> that the women have been very open about coming up to us and uh, having their picture taken. What, how wonderful they've been and what a good impression they've left. The headscarves worn by these Muslim women are called hijabs. The term refers to the veil which separates man or the world from God. I love the bazaar. I think it's a wonderful way to see the common people and we've certainly seen what they buy and how many choices they have in the market. I'm amazed that there are so many fruits. Besides the ancient cultural heritage of the country, we see local people. We're going to go see how they make their bread in this village. <laughs> this traditional flatbread is called markuk. It is baked for two to three minutes on a domed or convex metal griddle known as a saj. Most Turkish families eat fresh bread with every meal. He's almost as good as I am. Thank you. This bread is wonderful with the cheese and parsley. Prior to 1997, children in Turkey were obliged to undertake five years of education. Thereafter, eight years. And in 2012, new legislation extended compulsory education to 12 years. My name is Charles, and they spell like this. And your name is... Yes. What? I had a lot of difficulty getting the name, the pronunciation of the name, but when I had the student write it, then I was able to pronounce his name correctly. And it was, it was very interesting. It was a good learning experience for me, too. <laughs> my this is my body. And since we believe so strongly in education, I'm very pleased to see how, how well the students interact and work with their teachers. Ilijek is a small community in the town of Haji Bektash, a sacred center of Alevi Islam. Many of the 130 households make their living as farmers and stock breeders. Their day begins at first light, feeding the animals, taking care of the household chores and tending to their farms. There are traditional gender roles in Cappadocian society. Preparing meals is among the responsibilities of the women. Matamak is a small-leafed plant, popular in Turkish cuisine. It's very nutritious with a tart flavor. And its roots are sometimes brewed into a tea with medicinal benefits. Community is important in village society, and neighbors often work together. Several households share the metal griddle in this cooking area for making flatbread, which is eaten with most meals. Afternoons typically include a trip 
to Haji Bakhtash to shop for the evening meal. Market stalls are abundant with produce grown in the surrounding villages. Summer crops are dried and strung for storage. During winter, they will be rehydrated and made into a meal. The failure to exploit Turkey's great agricultural potential has led to inequalities in income between its rural and its urban residents. As a result, the youth of communities like Ilijek have moved to the urban areas looking for better opportunities. Children travel by government-funded transportation to attend school in Haji Bektash. Education reform introduced in 2012 requires 12 years of education and students attend school Monday through Friday. There, they're provided lunch daily between the morning and afternoon sessions. In an effort to help rural areas gain better access to quality education, the Grand Circle Foundation has funded a library and a shared kitchen that benefits 500 children across five different schools. Life in the community of Ilijek quiets down in the evenings, a time to gather together and reflect on the day's work.